Right, your Chiru is Soraki's son butto. Okay, so I'm done now. So, right, can I go now? Finish the video because I think we, I think we pretty much confirmed it. That's pretty much all that has to be said about the three. But um, enough of enough of that joking around. Basically, so I formulated this theory because one, it's been on my mind for some time. Two, it's very relevant to talk about it right now during, of course, how Zoraki is fighting the old Valkyrie right now. So it's kind of relevant right now. Um, two and three, everyone's been talking about it. Like, it's all over the theories and everything, and people are struggling to come up with concrete theories. I'm not saying that my theory is going to be concrete. I'm struggling too, because there's still a little bit of holes, there's still a bit of um, speculation. But um, I just wanted to shed my light on the topic. And I'm going to start from the start. Let's actually get this from the beginning. And that's the point in time, I'm going to try and keep this real real short as well. So this is when Kenpachi meets Yachiri. And one, I'm going to just show a look, I'm going to talk about a lot of evidence why Yachiri is... Um, Soraki Sampato, and that's because Yachiri is Soraki's materialized version of Rashi. And when I mean it by that, I mean it by all, throughout all this time, since Nozorashi couldn't of couldn't um speak and be in communication with um Kenpachi because Kenpachi didn't hear Nozorashi's voice. Nozorashi materialized into Yachiri, and that is what Yachiri is. Um, that is uh, what that's why in what is it District Seventy Eight because it's um. Kuja Shishishi or something like that, I can't remember. Um, but the, the district where Zoraki's from, uh, where they were fighting, and that when he first met Yachiri, he was just like, oh, what's your name? You don't have a name? I'll call you Yachiri and all that kind of stuff. So, Yachiri's true name is, of course, Nozorashi, but Zoraki didn't know that. So Zoraki called um, her Yachiri. Now, you're thinking, hang on, wait, if Yachiri is Nozorashi, then how come, does Yach how come Yachiri has her own Shikai, how come she's got this whole Sampo Kenju kind of thing. Now, where my theory comes into this is that is not, um, that's not a Shikai. Because if you remember what Isane says, um, Isane was just like, oh, that Shikai is so different. It's not like, the, it's not like the materialized version of a Sampo that I normally see. It weren't like Hitsugaya's, it weren't like Inohana's, because Inohana's came out with an actual beast, but it was the sword that transformed into the beast. With Yachiri's, beasts appeared from behind her and her sword stayed the same. So, what I believe, what I believe, um, what was it, Sampo Kenju? That's not a Shikai. That's not, in fact, that's just an ability. That's what I believe it is. Because, um, there was no chant. There was no calling command. And yes, if you're aim Bleach, there are some times where you can activate the Shikai without a calling command. But that is, um... When you've attained the level of Bankai, and Yachiri has not, and if we're saying Yachiri is not Nozorashi, then Yachiri has not attained Bankai just to um say, oh yeah, come out, let's do our Mashika right now without even doing the chant. That's not about, that's not gonna happen, that's not true. But, um, so yeah, with Sampa Kenju, Sampa Kenju is actually an extension of one of Zoraki's abilities. This is what I believe it is. So we don't know much about Nozorashi, we don't know if Nozorashi. It, um, what abilities Dr. Rashi has, all we know is that it, it's pretty much, it can cut through anything. That's all we, Zoraki has said, maybe that's all it is, or that's all we know, we do not know yet. But, just to formulate this theory, Sampo Kenju is under one of the abilities that Nozorashi has. And that ability is to, wherever um, he hits, his attack um, extends in front of him. And what I mean, it, what I mean by that is, let's give it... Let's give um, an example with Gerard. And Gerard is, um, when he comes in and he fights, when he, when he comes in to fight Gerard, he cuts off his arm. And he is meters back. Like, he is not right here and he's just like, bam, like that. No, 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 He is meters back. Meaning, first of all, if, if the only, there's two reasons that can happen to that. One, that he's so strong that the wind pressure, he literally just goes, that, that wind pressure goes and just takes off his arm. Or two, he's using Sampo Kenju. Maybe he's using, I believe he's using this off, of sub, he's using this of a subconscious thought. Meaning he's not actually thinking, alright, let's use Sampo Kenju. Because he probably doesn't even realise that Yachiri is part of the Sampo So yeah, um, when this happens, if Yachiri is Soraki's son, Yachiri will come out of her own, well, not Soraki. She will come out and tell Soraki of their own, of her, of her or of its own fault. I'm not sure if Sampo Toa have gender, so I'm a little bit baffled on that one. But, um... So yeah, Sampo Kenju is an extension of Soraki's ability, and we see this again when Soraki is fighting Paninda, when Soraki is again meters back, and then he does it, so Sampo Kenju is an extension of the attack, that's why, obviously, 
when you chew it, you chew it explains because you chew as a child. The mature, so Nozarashi is probably Nozarashi. We 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 know that some battles have um personalities. So I'm betting to believe that Nozarashi's a bit uh, personality, which is Yachiri, is of a childlike, playful manner. So that's why when Yachiri Yachiri um describes Sampa Kenji, she's just like, oh, there's a monster in front of me that um comes and attacks. So actually, in when Soraki uses Sampa Kenji, there's not necessarily a monster in front of him. It's actually just that whatever he attacks, the extension, the attack just extends so it makes sure that it hits the opponent. That's what I believe this one of one of its Shikai's abilities to be. So if we theor theorize on what Nozarashi's Sombato ability is, its main one is just when its Shikai activates, it transforms into a massive sword which can cut through anything and its attacks extend to its opponent. So where, whenever its sword is swung, it shall hit that opponent, no matter the distance. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. Um, Sampa Kenju is. That's what the ability is. Now, in Shikai, Kenpachi may have other abilities. We're not sure, but um, that's all up to speculation or whatever until we find out what Kubo has for us in a couple of in a, in the next future chapters. So I believe that's kind of confirmed. I believe that I've explained it enough with um, Sampa Kenju. So. When Yachiri actually claimed for it to be a Shikai, well, actually, she didn't even say her Shikai, I think. She was just like, oh, um, maybe it's time for me to be... No, yeah, she didn't even say Shikai. When she was fighting against, um, what's his name? The Vanishing Point. She was just like, oh, now I can be serious too. And then she's just like, come out, Sampa Kenji. And that's why everyone was just like, oh, crap, 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 is it her Shikai? So she didn't even necessarily say, oh, now it's time to use my Sampa Toe. Now it's time to use my, um... Shikai. So that, first of all, we were basically jumping off accusation again. We were just assuming. So, um, you could just imply that Kubo was obviously trolling us right there again. But, now, with the, my theory is kind of standing strong right now. But now, if we talk about these monsters, it kind of just blows my theory out of the park. So, to explain how my theory even takes into account to these monsters, these monsters are still a part of Soraki Sampato, meaning it's a part of the materialized version that is Nozarashi. And when I mean this is, if we see Nozarashi Sampato, if we see, um, I mean the Shikai, if we see Soraki Sampato, the white fluffy monster, it symbolizes the little taffel um, that is on the end of Nozarashi, and then the big black is obviously the big black sword. The big black beast is the big black sword, and then on top of its nose, it's got like a little white kind of um, outlining, and that's at the top of Nozarashi. That's what I believe it to be. Um, how the Sampak Toe is literally symbolizes the materialized version of these two beasts. And if you're wondering, hang on, wait. So Nozarashi is three materialized versions? I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't think so, because I can't see that happening. I just think Nozarashi is, is Yachiri. So, like, for example, when... um. Zoraki goes into his inner world, he'll probably see Yachiri. I doubt he'll probably see these monsters. But I think, um, like, I think it's within the Sunbuck Tells of power to, to create these monsters. Do you kind of see what I mean? For example, like, when, when the Sunbuck Tell, when they're in their inner world, their abilities, not, it doesn't look different, but, like, you obviously see them in their true form. So these abilities, you'll see it in its true form, kind of, and it's not materialized because you're in your inner world. So, Sampa Kenju, when Sampa Kenju is activated, what it would look like if for so when um, Soraki uses Sampa Kenju, you don't see the two monsters. But when, like, if when Nozarashi is materialized and Nozarashi himself, which is Yachiri herself or itself, whatever, when it uses Sampa Kenju materialized, that's when you see the two beasts come out. So, the th those two be ability, if you kind of catch my drift. So they're not actually, they're not what we believe to be um, Shikai. They're not Sambakto spirits. They act, they're the actual ability. For example, if we use um, Kyorokus, if we use Kyorokus Sambakto to, uh, to help solidify this theory, Kyorokus got many Shikai abilities. Some is called like Ironi and all those kind of colors and all of that. And some of them, I can't remember, but some of them, like the, the, the English translation is. Like something monster, all that kind of stuff. So you don't necessarily see the monster. When Kyoku was using his abilities, you weren't seeing a monster come out and helping him, were you? No. But maybe if it was materialized, maybe that ability was generally, maybe that's what the ability generally is. I'm not sure. Or maybe that's just got to do with the Sampatel's personality. Either way, 
Sumpa Kenju is the ability to obviously extend the attack in front of you and that is done by these two monsters which appear. So they're not actual Sumpa Tell Spirits, they're just they're just um ability part of the abilities of the Sumpa Tell which Nozarashi, which is a Churi herself, is using. I know that kind of sounds confusing, but that's why that's how your Churi is um is um so Soraki is Sunbato. So when Soraki is fighting Gremi and Soraki basically um defeats Gremi and he comes down and he sees Yachiri's like she hawk show and her lieutenant badge on the floor and it's literally just there. Like the badge is still on the thing, so it's it, it seems like she disintegrated or she appeared. It's either that or she actually got out of the clothes and done like a little run naked. But it couldn't be because um she couldn't have been she couldn't have been like what? Killed. And not killed, but like, she couldn't have run away without her clothes, like, she couldn't have disappeared without her clothes, you see what I mean? So the only logical explanation is that she literally, her, her form, her body was just gone. Like, it disappeared. And this is why when Soraki activates his Shikai, and we see the whole little, um, flashback with your truth saying, like, oh, like, oh, where did you come from, all that kind of stuff. Um, Soraki saying Nozarashi, that calls Yachiru. So Yachiru is called to go back into maybe the inner world or to get ready to activate the Shikai. So when, um, so before all this time, Soraki never said, oh, like, swallow Nozarashi or drink Nozarashi. Yachiru was just chilling there, materialized version. But when Kenpachi said, swallow Nozarashi or drink Nozarashi, that's when he did the activating chant to, um, to call out for Nozarashi, which Yachiru was in that modified, in that materialized version, to come to activate the Shikai. And that, that's where Yachiru is. Yachiru is in, in Soraki's inner world because Yachiru is Soraki's Sonpato. So tell me your thoughts in, in the comments below what you think um, about my theory, if you think it's true. I thought it was pretty relevant since we're seeing a fight between Gerald and Kenpachi, so you never know. We may be seeing some flashbacks, maybe Kenpachi. We may see, we, either way, um, we may get this addressed. The whole issue of where the hell is your cheery. So tell me your thoughts in the comment below. If you like my um video, give it a thumbs up. This is Shinigami Sam. Subscribe for weekly reviews of Bleach and discussions about this series. And I'll see you next... I'll see you tomorrow for that greatness of the Bleach chapter. Goodbye. See ya.